So I am now officially five weeks out, five weeks out from Rista. As you can tell, these weekly um, vlogs about I'm on training have not gone to plan because the last one was like five months out. That I actually think I got the um, timing wrong on that because I think that was, it wasn't five months ago. It was, it was not that long ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got five weeks on my Ironman, which is terrifying. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, it would have been a week ago now by the time you're watching this, I posted a really big, long, dramatic um, purse yesterday after my bike. So yesterday I did 100 miles on the bike and then a run. It was, honest to God, the hardest bike ride I think I've ever done. No, sorry, this year, this year. It was 100 miles of just hills, there was over 6,000 feet of climbing, but it wasn't that, it was the wind, it was just so destroying, like I just, I felt like a tortoise going through peanut butter, but the peanut butter that's like hard at the bottom with no oil, and it's just like, you can't even get your spoon in it. That is how slow I was. Um, so obviously that's not, it wasn't very encouraging um, to think I've got a hilly Ironman course in five weeks. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel very nervous now. I feel very negative. I don't actually want to race at all now. Um, Cause I'm frightened I'm gonna have a really embarrassing bike time. And you know, I've got this like beautiful fast bike and I post loads of stuff on social media all the time and like give people biking tips and I'm just gonna be, painfully slow. But anyway, I'm trying not to be negative this week. I'd had basically a whole week of being negative. Um, I think, you know, when you're just like, you're so close to it. I mean, I'm sure other people who are training or have trained for things like this in the past might agree, or maybe it's just me, but you kind of get to a point where you're so close, like you're, you're tired of being tired. You've done like six months of training. You're just like, you're kind of fed up of going out and doing 100 miles on the bike every weekend. I'm kind of fed up of getting up and running and being tired and just always hungry and just, you just can't live have enough. Um, but I'm trying to be motivating and inspiring, so just let's just pretend that we don't feel like that. Um, so today is a rest day, which is nice. I actually woke up feeling really good, so I went to the gym to teach and then I ended up doing some upper body stuff. Um, not really Ironman specific, just vanity kind of arm exercises because I'd like quite like some shoulder muscles to appear sometime soon, please. Um, so I did that and I did some stretching. Um, I always, every single day I do some kind of mobility sequence or stretching, which I never used to do, didn't do it at all last year. Um, it's really helped me this year, I really enjoy it. Like I literally crave being on my yoga mat and doing stuff, which has made me actually think that I'd quite like to get a yoga qualification too. Um, obviously I teach Pilates, but and I'm not very flexible, but I really like the yoga at the minute. So maybe that's on the cards after I've finished my own man. Who knows? So I thought I would actually film because I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna come home and do it. I am home. I'm actually gonna do. Excuse me. I'm actually gonna do a bit more today because um, I, I do just feel tight from yesterday and everything hurts. So I'll try film that for you. And I'm also gonna actually try film my whole week because I recorded this intro for the last five weeks in the, with the intentions to do a week in Ironman training and I just forget to film basically. I do this bit and then I just like, I'll go swimming tomorrow and I didn't film it. And yeah, it's just, I just cannot remember. So I'm gonna try set an alarm on my phone every day and hopefully get a week in Ironman training for you five weeks out. So I shall see you for some stretching and then I shall see you tomorrow for a tempo run and a swim. Um, she's away at the minute. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm on. I'm like I'm on mum duty. I'm going to pick my brother up from school before I then go back to the gym to teach my last class. So I had a lovely salad for lunch because um, I'm just trying to get loads of veg in at the minute. And yeah, I just can't make it after my last class and then come home and teach. Uh, sorry, and then come home and eat. I literally cannot wait that long. 
even if it's a rest day, I, I just get so hungry. So I'm gonna make a shake, so I thought I'd show you what I put in it, because it's my ultimate favorite shake ever. It's so good, just wait. <laughs> Manuka honey because it is literally the best thing ever. I actually hate honey, but it's just so good for you. It stops you getting cold. So my top tip to stop you spending like literally taking out a loan, remortgaging your house, just to get some manuka. Um, Holland and Barrett often do it half price. Um, like I don't know if it's when they do the penny sales or whatever, but I always get it then and stock up. And also I read that. 15 plus is kind of like your minimum. Anything less than that, you might as well just be not using normal honey. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of this spirulina. Ooh. Get about a teaspoon in there. It's very green. It tastes like pond, but it's good. I'm going for vegan vanilla protein. So get a big scoop in there. So good. Get some chia seeds in there. Yep, I've got a lot. Normally I would put like my tablespoon in, so. Uh, shit. Sorry again, Mum. I'm making a mess. I'm gonna go for three teaspoons, and there's a lot on the floor right now, so I am gonna clear that up later. Whether to go almond or hazelnut. I'm gonna go almond. Um, yeah, another top tip always use root health. Literally changes the drink. It's the best. It's so good. So that's gonna go in there. I was meant to get up at ridiculous o'clock to go get my tempo running for the day, but I just was not feeling it when my alarm went off this morning and obviously I've got like my brother to get ready for school and stuff. That's a bit of an exaggeration, he's 14 so he does it himself. But I still had to get him to school before I made it to the gym to coach so I thought I'll get up. I actually did some yoga because I felt really tight this morning, um, did some work, took James to school. Then I went to the gym, did my coaching and then I had a meeting in Beverly which was really nice so I went to Fillmore and Union. Um, which was really yummy. Someone's just pulled next to me and is watching me film myself, which is really uncomfortable. Um, and now I'm just at the pool for a swim. So it's a technique session. I'm going to try film as much as I can, but it obviously totally depends on how many people are in the pool because it's frowned upon to film people in their swimming costumes. So we'll see. I think it's frowned upon anyway. I don't think you're actually supposed to film in the in the pool, but I'm going to give it best my best shot. So it's six o'clock here now. I am just at my laptop working. I do apologize for the fact that I've got zero makeup on. Chances are there's about 10 people watching this video anyway. That'll be my mum, my dad, my boyfriend, possibly my nan. Um, the other six of you, I'm very sorry about this. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd just been swimming and when Sam gets here, I'm gonna go on a run. So thankfully, Sam's joining me for my tempo run and then he's gonna run a bit further because he's the ultra runner and I'm just the Iron Man now. Um, and yeah, so he's gonna run a bit further and I'm gonna get back and cook tea. Tea is gonna be rice and loads of Mediterranean veggies and salmon. So I'm looking forward to that because it's a hungry day. Every day is a hungry day, but today is a very hungry day. So yeah, that'll be good. Oh, I also probably will not film the run because it's meant to be a tempo run. Uh, also, my GoPro is out of battery, so that's actually numero uno um, reason. But also, if you're going fast, you probably can't film. I won't be going fast, but that's my excuse anyway. It's a two hour bike day and a swim. I've made the decision that I'm gonna swap today's swim with tomorrow's half an hour gym simply because I literally just don't have time to fit it in. So I'm really lucky that the sun's out, so I'm gonna go for my two hour ride now. I'm not gonna lie, after Sunday's bike ride, I'm just, I'm literally dreading it. I don't know why, I think like, I've just lost all bike confidence slash enjoyment for it, which is such a shame because I'm going on my beautiful bike. Um, but yeah, I need to pull myself together. I really do need to get a grip. So I'm gonna go on this bike, I'm gonna do a few hills because I clearly need some hill help and it's on my plan. Then I'm going to come back, eat my lunch, 
do some work, do my half an hour gym session, and then I've got two more classes to teach this afternoon. So I've charged my GoPro, I'm going to try film some of my ride, so you should see some footage of that and not just me talking to you about what I do. I bet you just think, I bet she doesn't even do any of it. She just like says she's going to do it and then doesn't do it. Um, but no, I'm going to go get this done. So I shall see you on my ride. <laughs> for my ride and this is what I've made myself. So I've got a salmon omelette and a big old salad and a pint of water. I also had like a banana um, vanilla vegan chia seed protein shake before I set off. So yeah, a bit late but delicious. So I kind of rushed and made my lunch as soon as I got in from my bike. Didn't actually talk to you about my bike. I did try to talk to my GoPro but I actually don't know if GoPro has a speaker on them. And I also had like the protector water thing, so chances are you couldn't hit any of it. But basically, I um, a car hit me. A car actually hit me when I was on my bike. Um, I'm fine, my bike's fine, more importantly. Um, she literally bumped me, I think hit is like a strong word. Just realised all my washings, like blown off line, very annoying. Um, but yeah, I was fine. But you know, like she didn't even stop. <laughs> she didn't even stop to see if I was okay. So to all those people that cycle, obviously wear a helmet, obviously. Um, but just be really aware of drivers because they're so inconsiderate. Like they get as close to you as possible as if to say, to make a point. I don't know what your point is. We're allowed to be on the road. I'm in a bit of work this morning. I'm gonna go to coach and then I've got a swim session that I was meant to do yesterday. And then I've got a two hour run tonight and then that's it till Saturday um, when I'm gonna go do the Bolton course with Chloe, um, which will be good. I'm actually hoping that my dad's gonna drive down with me, take my road bike and then I'll take my um, tri bike and I'm hopefully gonna do one lap on one bike and one lap on the other bike to see which one's better. Cause I'm having like an absolute meltdown. Like, I just do not think the tri bike is, is fast enough on the hills. Like, fair enough if I was really good on a tri bike and I was really aggressive and sat in that position for the whole 112 miles. But I don't think I will. So I think I'd be best off on a road bike with tri bike. But yeah, this morning's been like shit, basically. Because I'm just freaking out about it. So quickly, before I set off for the gym, I'm just gonna do a 10 minute yoga flirt and have a cup of coffee. Uh, if you check my Instagram post up so like a week ago, that's exactly what it's about. I just need to chill. I just like need a second because I'm just having a meltdown basically. Right now, I don't even wanna race. I'm sorry that this is the most uninspiring, unmotivational, negative week in I'm on training you guys have ever seen. Um, but it's true. This is just how I'm feeling this week. Hopefully, I'll pull myself together for next week. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> gonna make my way back to the gym to teach my evening class which isn't till 5 30 but if I set off now I miss the traffic and I can just work from there um, which is good I can't say I've been that productive today but I've been very well hydrated so if you can't be productive at least be hydrated um, I'm hopefully gonna be a bit more productive when I get there I also might do um, just a bit few bits of upper body and handstand practice because if I haven't already told you, my goal now is, obviously the Ironman as well, is to be able to do a handstand, like not against the wall. Um, so I'll probably go do a bit of that. Um, yeah, and then I've got to come back and it'll probably be like 7pm by the time I come back, but then I've got to run for two hours. Um, so that's a bit shit because obviously it'll be like gone nine by the time I get my tea. Um, but Sam's going to do it with me, which is so nice. Um, so we're gonna do a nice two hour trail run, nice and steady, nice and relaxed. Nothing like the tempo run we did last night. No, sorry, the night before. Um, 
Yeah. fashion I am hours behind schedule like literal hours I had a meeting in Cleethorpes which is like an hour away from my house across the bridge and tend to lunch and it just turned into a really long meeting so I'm setting off now I think it's like half four I'm gonna go pick Chloe up then we're gonna go to our hotel put my bike in the back I'm all packed so I just wanted to come on and tell you a fun story yes I'm crying I got halfway, not halfway, I got about 40 minutes on my way to Bolton, realised I'd forgot my bag with all my cycling kit, everything in. So I went all the way back, bearing in mind I'm already hours late, went and got it. Then got about an hour in and my tyre pressures was low. So I had to like pull off ask some really cute little boy who works at the service station to do it for me because I've got no idea. And then I get here and I realised I forgot my debit card. How was that? It was hot, there were hills, but I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I like that. I can say I like it now and not so much <laughs> while I was doing it. And this is our transition area situation going on here. Two bikes in a, in a car, I feel like that's a good effort. It's not that big a car. Now to Tesco. So it's Sunday today, it's a rest day, which is actually really nice. I didn't expect to rest it. I'm like terribly sweaty. I've just been on a dog walk and then another walk because I don't deal very well with rest days. I feel guilty. Um, I feel really good after yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that I fell over quite bad, um, literally to save a horse. So as Chloe put it, I'm technically a hero because I did save the horse. Uh, but my, it's a good job my bum is very cushioned, um, but it's gonna be black and blue in a few days, I feel. Um, but it was a really good ride yesterday, sorry, excuse my phone. Um, Chloe was really strong, me not so much, um, but it's good, it's good to do the course and it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, so that's positive, still undecided which bike I'm going to do it on there, which is not good. Um, but yeah, so that was like a week, I think we're now going to be four weeks out, so probably won't do another week um, filming. Um, I'm sorry that this one was so negative, but it's just honest, this is how I feel at this point. Um, and I'll probably film the race weekend. 